Kelly from Soy and Shane. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to make a loaf of soap using Aromas Eucalyptus Citriodora, which is a lemon eucalyptus found in the northern parts of Eastern Australia. The fragrance notes of this is lemon verbena, eucalyptus, zest of lemon, and it's finished off with a little bit of lavender. Now for me, every time I see the eucalypts from out of my back window, I see them against a brilliant blue sky. So I'm actually going to make the base of my soap a blue and I'm using Cool Vista Mica from my Micro Obsession. And then I'm going to drop swirl some Firefly, some Elusive and some Jade Mica all from my Micro Obsession. So we'll get started. In my big pot here I have my oils which has olive oil, castor oil, shea butter and coconut oil and in this smaller bucket here I have my lye water. So what I'm going to do is mix my lye water into my oils and then we're going to separate them off into the colours. mixed up into there and I noticed that that fragrance oil has actually slowed down the trace on these so we should be able to get a really pretty swirl so I'll just give this a quick tidy up here and then we'll go and get the mold okay so I've got my loaf mold here and I'm just going to scrape these buckets down just a little bit and I'm going to start by adding the blue and then I'm going to drop swirl in um, the greens and the yellow there So we'll start by pouring a good majority of this blue into the mould. Just leave a little bit back just to help swell the colours later. And just give these a quick stir up before pouring them in. And we're just going to simply work backwards and forwards adding each of those colours.
Okay, so I've just had to put a whole heap of music on there as while I was trying to do this and chatting away to you, my husband came home from work and my dogs went nuts and the neighbours started trimming his hedges again. Motorbikes are going by and everyone's coming home from work. So I had to put an awful lot of music over that so that you wouldn't hear all of it. So I've, I just basically scrubbed out or scraped out all of the containers and I've just swelled the colours through a little bit and now using a stainless steel spoon I'm just texturing the top Now I'm not going to put any glitter or any other fancy bits on here. Um, the fragrance is quite a fresh, bright fragrance and I think this will appeal to many of my male customers as well and a lot of them don't appreciate glitter on the soap. So it's quite a boring plain top soap but it smells delicious. So we'll leave that one to sit for 24 hours and we'll come back and we'll cut that one tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm back to cut the Eucalyptus Citriodora. It has sat for a little over 24 hours as I've been having some time with family. So it's been sitting for more, almost around that 48 hour mark. So it's nice and hard. So we'll cut it open and see what we've got inside. Now I chose to use the greens and yellows because when I sit and look at the eucalypts through my back window against that brilliant blue sky I often see shades of green and yellow which is why we went and added the yellow which seemed like quite an odd colour. Now this is actually very hard so I'm going quite slowly because I can feel that there's a lot of resistance. Um, my recipe has a very high content of olive oil and even though olive oil is quite a soft oil and can require that little bit extra curing it does make a hard bar of soap as you can see from that and it's not all the way through but we'll move that one out of the way for the moment oh that's it the last one's just gone through so we'll pick one up from the middle here and oh I love the colours that that has come out. That really reminds me of looking out the back window of my shed and seeing the eucalypts on those sunny blue days. So I'm really quite happy with how that swells come out. When I was making the actual filming of making the soap, everything was going wrong for me. So I'm really, really happy with how that one's turned out. Look, there's even a little love heart through that one there. So I'll go ahead and keep popping these onto my rack. These will need about four to six weeks to cure and then they'll go up onto my website and will also be available at the Cleveland markets. So if you've liked this video, um, please give me a thumbs up and leave some comments below. And if you'd like to sub subscribe to my channel, please do so and I'll have more videos for you very soon. Thank you for watching.